guys! So today I'm making a book haul video and I have filmed this maybe two or three times already but either the lighting was off or something I wasn't happy with the quality or something like this so I'm filming it on my computer now because my camera was being dumb and um, yeah. I know I mentioned in my last video which was the Divergent review that I was going to go to a library sale um, at my grandma's house and I never actually made it out there. That is why this is a book haul, it has nothing to do with library books. But um, I never made it out there because there was traffic on the freeway, like I left the house to go there and I was in traffic for an hour going from my freeway entrance to the first exit that I could take possibly. And the reason was is that a couple of exits from me there was a huge accident and they closed down like four lanes and there was no way I could get down to my grandma. And my grandma lives like 45 minutes away. so. There was absolutely no way that I could get down there in a reasonable amount of time. So I ended up turning around and coming back home. But um, throughout the last two or three weeks, I did end up going to Barnes & Noble and Crown's Bookstore. And um, I'll show you what I got at Barnes & Noble first. I got Halo by Alexandra Adornetto. And the reason I purchased this is because I got Hate Ascent for review. And I've never read Halo or heard anything about it. So I went and picked it up. And I'm going to guess that this is about angels and they come down to earth and one of the angels meets a human and they fall in love and then something dark is going to happen. Some dark forces are going to threaten their love and she's going to have to either try to save their love or, oh, like, I don't know. Love is somehow going to save them maybe. I don't know. I've never... If you guys read this, tell me if you liked it. I don't really know what it's about. The next book I got was Queen's Own Pool, and this is about Mary, Queen of Scots. Um, this book is about um, the Queen's fool, Nicola, who um, finds out about some kind of corruption against her queen and is trying to save her because the queen is her friend. And this, if you guys don't know, um, Queen of Scots, Queen Mary, Queen of Scots, is different from the Tudor Queen Mary, just letting you guys know, because I was kind of confused about that, because I thought they were the same queen at first, and then I looked it up, and Queen Mary of Scots is Queen Elizabeth's cousin, who, and Queen Elizabeth is um, Queen Mary's stepsister, so a little history there. The next book I got was Wash Me by um, Lauren Bradhold, and this is about a girl who joins a t reality TV series and leaves her boyfriend behind at home. She meets a boy named Drew who lives in the house that she lives in and something's gonna happen that's gonna try to pull her and her boyfriend apart and she doesn't know who to trust. Kind of like a um, deception novel. I don't know. This looks really good though and I'm really excited to find her novel because I really wanted to read Two Way Street but I could never get my hands on it, so I finally got Watch Me. So I'm kind of excited about this. The next book I got was Crash Into Me by Albert Boris. And this is about a group of kids who are suicidal, and they take a road trip, and they kind of learn about each other. And from what the back says, um, they learn secrets and desires and end up becoming really good friends and learn that life is worth living and not dying so this looks really good I actually really like like psychology novels and I think a lot of like suicide novels have a really cool um psychological take on it so um I really like the like psychological books so this kind of looks really good and apparently I've never actually heard anything about this book and never even heard about the author but Ellen Hopkins, if you guys know who Helen Hopkins is, gave him an exceptional first novel. So, I would have to trust Ellen Hopkins because I absolutely love her writing. Um, and she also writes about, like, suicide. Oh, she doesn't really write about suicide. I don't think she has any books about suicide. But she writes about, like, drugs and um, kind of everyday problems that teenagers go through. And her books are in poetic form, 
And if you guys want to check out a review of one of her books, I have Identical reviewed on my channel, so you guys can go check that out. The next book I got was Beware Princess Elizabeth by Caroline Mayer, and this is part of the Young Royal series, um, and this is part of a trilogy as well. Um, there are three books in it. The first one's Mary Bloody Mary, which is about the Tudor Queen Mary, just letting you guys know. And then it goes Be Beware Princess Elizabeth, and then Doom Queen Anne, which is about Princess Elizabeth's mom. And apparently this is about um, Elizabeth's teenage years, and her sister ends up locking her up in a tower after her mom is beheaded, and she comes to power, and kind of, I guess, her love betrays her, and she's on a, because he wants to get the throne as well, and this is told through Elizabeth's point of view, and I'm really excited, because I heard a lot of good things about these books while it was in like um fourth and fifth grade I found this book actually and I tried reading it and it wasn't really interesting so now I found it again so I'm hoping to give it a second read but I want to find Mary Bloody Mary first before I read this one the next book I got is The Bad Queen and this is also part of the Young Royal series and this one is about um Mary Antoinette and if you guys have seen the movie with Kristen Dunst you kind of get it's really actually pretty close to the real story of Marie Antoinette. Um, she's really a really selfish queen and um, of France. She was married to Louis the 16th, I believe. Um, but this one is about, um, about, it kind of tells the historical story and through rules. Like one of them is our servant is never to be the object of humor and another one so each chapter is like a different rule and I guess it kind of goes how it relates to her you may one of them is you may not reach for anything yourself and that's what it looks like, like there's a rule um I don't really have any expectations for this book to be quite honest but I just saw that it was part of the Young Royal series and I really really wanted to get it so and the other books if you guys are interested um there is she actually writes a lot about the Tudor family. There's four books in that series, I believe. Um, Mary Bloody Mary, Rare Princess Elizabeth, Patience Princess Catherine, Doom Queen Anne, and her newest one is Duchess Sina, which is about Catherine de' Medici, which I think is a Spanish or a French queen. I'm not really sure. I'm not really familiar with her. The next book I got is The Night World and Huntress, Black Dawn, and Witchlight, and this is the third volume. And I also picked up the second volume of Dark Night World, which contains Dark Angel, The Chosen, and Soulmate. And I really don't know much about these books because I actually never read the first one yet. I have it on my shelf, that's why I picked these up. But all I know is that it has something to do with vampires and witches and apparently angels. So each story is like a different kind of supernatural. I'll probably do a reviews once I read these, but um, don't really know much about them. If you guys have read this, please let me know what you thought about them because I don't know what to expect. Um, especially if you read the first one, let me know what you thought about it because it's been sitting on my shelf and I just haven't gotten to it yet. And the last two books that I got were Thirst number one and Thirst number two. And these are about a vampire who, whose name is Alicia, I believe. And she has to control her urge to drink human blood. And she's a different type of vampire. Well, she's not really a different type, but um, her rituals are kind of different from regular vampires who just eat to kill. She just feeds to feed. She doesn't kill her victim. And apparently her creator is wants to hunt her down because she is making her own rules and in order to survive. And then she meets a boy named Ray and apparently he's the only person that could help her and she must get closer to him to make sure that she stays alive. 
And then she kind of falls in love with Ray. And I guess that's pretty much this the first book. I never read it. I that's all I got from the back. So I if you guys read the first Thurs book, please let me know what you guys thought about it. And then the second one, um, apparently she somehow I really don't want to actually tell you what the second one is about because I've never read the first one. And the second one, the back kind of ruins what happens in the first one. I just kind of glanced at it, and the first sentence pretty much just tells me what something that happened in this book. So I'm not going to tell you what this one is about. If you guys want to find out what it's about, you guys could go on Goodreads or Barrington and Nobles and find out. This is Thirst Number 2 by Christopher Pike, and this is Thirst Number 1 by also by Christopher Pike. And I'm kind of ex having high expectations for Thirst. But, um, I will say that I tried to read Remember Me by Christopher Pike. I own it. I never finished it. So, I don't know how it's going to go with Thirst. But I do have high expectations. I hope you guys liked my book haul. And stay tuned for an October's um, 2BR pile. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.